So I've been trying to make a video on this topic since the very moment that I came out of hiatus, which was about a month ago. So I haven't stressed too much about it. I just thought every week, let me think up a new talking point for this kind of video so that when I finally get the balls to make this video, it's not just going to be bait because I knew what the title was going to be. But I didn't want that reception without this kind of content. And the thing is, for many years now, 2012 to 2015, I have incorporated the PUA game, not the economic game theory concept, like the Neckbeard game concept, into my videos. I have used the political alpha male as a explanation for the monarch. Someone who is at the top of a social rank. Someone who is at the top of the political rank as well. And both are reflective of the other. But that was, again, me being esoteric about game. A lot of us, we don't just learn game in these circles to get ass. We learn game because we think that's going to teach us some shit. <laughs> My big homie Grog, I remember him and I used to defend game as a concept when all of our bros would say, nah, nah. That topic is BS. And we would debate. Well, he would debate, I would just listen. And the thing is, there comes a point where you got to realize someone is spitting some real shit, even if the reasoning isn't necessarily convincing. Because game is a spook. My video is legit. And the reason I say that is because when people use game and they try to adopt alpha traits... What they're really doing is that they are feeding themselves habits that will build themselves up to having a false masculinity. And that's a problem right now because a lot of people who learn these habits are trying to fight a modernistic society that's alienating. So you can fight that on face value by getting some ass but a lot of us just want to become leaders and how um, Afrocentric circles say it we want to be kings we want to be what what's his face Nick Cannon calls a negus although it's pronounced negus yeah, we're trying to be kings right now socially Definitely in our personal lives, definitely in how we market ourselves, how we connect to a crowd, if we're going to really be ambitious about a lot of these alt-right things. And the thing is, I couldn't stand the manosphere after a rainy gate in early 2013 onwards. But even in 2016, during my hiatus... I would go on normie circles, and whenever game was brought up, I would defend it. But I know now that one of the biggest issues in this modernity, in this era, is false masculinity. And the masculinity that you are taught in game is whack. It's fugazi. That ain't no classical sense of masculinity. And of course, I've seen it with my own life and with the life of other people who try putting incorporating game and alpha characteristics and poor evolutionary psychology and body language and all this other stuff negging into their lifestyle. 
it does some good. Like, I can tell you from my personal life, I used to orbit girls just like any other mystery meat dude. I used to be the biggest beta orbiter of the Uptown NYC demographic. A learning game, one of the good things I can say that it did, besides fixing my posture, which I was already doing months prior, is it got me to stop orbiting. It did, however, get me to put on these weird, assholish, edgy tendencies, which ended up harming some of my relationships, not just with women, but with family, with personal friends, with strangers. And once I started discarding some of that, everything good that I learned from game, I kept. And all of the bad habits, the false masculinities, the autistic misinterpretation, or even accurate interpretations that just didn't work, I got rid of all of that. And personally, although I shouldn't put his business out there, I noticed with Grog too, and he's reflected on this, some of the things he's appropriated from game, it didn't make him cool, it made him an asshole to some people in his personal lives. And I've watched how these things did it with so many people. And I don't want to go into Mr. Anecdotal, but that is where I'm picking up this wisdom. I'm not going to hit you with the data. This is not a data-centric video. But with game, the mentality has always been fake it till you make it. And there's been a lot of evolutionary psychology, which most of it is outdated. And what I've noticed is I don't just read new school PUA stuff. I read this stuff from the 90s. And a lot of this stuff is super theoretical. Some of these concepts have been getting outdated, replaced. And looking at people like... Artis making body language blogs where he'll look at a celebrity or Donald Trump or any of these other politicians. And he'll say, Yo, Vladimir is Putin, he's alpha, look at how he stands. Look at how he shakes this other person, Leonardo DiCaprio's hand. Look at how everyone around them is looking at them. Or comparing Donald Trump to Rick Santorum to. Uh, no, it was not Santorum. It was. It was a guy. With, it was that utter Hispanic guy that was running. Not Ted Cruz. The one with the broken brain. Who was going on loop. It was body language stuff and all these other ridiculous, like, snake oil things. I even followed newsletters from Roosh and a couple of other guys. A lot of this is stuff I wouldn't pay for and I wouldn't really spend time consuming anymore because in addition to some of it being snake oil, again, applying some of these to make you seem even more autistic or more of an inadvertent asshole even if you're being deliberate about it. So that's one thing. But I don't want to tell you guys if you want to learn some good behavioral and interpersonal habits to just be yourself. Because just being yourself is not only some two cents ass advice, it's BS. Instead, I'd like to give you guys the advice that I've kind of figured out as someone who used to be an actor, which is something from William Shakespeare, actually. All of life is a stage. We are all putting on roles. 
That's why acting isn't really that hard for me. You're really just putting on another role, which is all acting is meta acting. <clears throat> so instead of telling you uh, just be yourselves or just fake it till you make it, apply some good habits. Stop orbiting these hoes. Start taking more control over your own life. Be the realest G on the planet. And when life keeps kicking your ass, learn from that shit. Now, the depression that I've gone through in 2015 to 2016 has given me a lot of insight onto how to live my life and how to be more of a real man than any of these blogs or anything I could spend money on can. I learned a lot of shit from that. A lot about masculinity, a lot about becoming detached from the bullshit in life, especially the kinds of lives that we live. And the kind of face that I put on right now yeah, it is acting, but it's still some real shit. It's very natural for me. Like, this is not a struggle for me. I compared to the goofball that I was like two years ago when I was still making videos. I know I've definitely grown more into a man. The masculinity that I have achieved now is legit. Still not as manly as some of these other guys, but I'm a grown-ass man right now. I'm 21 years old. And that's not a spook. Going through the bullshit in life, being depressed, wanting to kill yourself after thinking I've completely beaten this depression shit, life isn't going to fuck me up anymore. I know how not to... You know, get two down. Going back into and coming out. That shit's gonna teach you some stuff. Anyway, I've kind of gone in circles right now. Which is good. I think that's a good way of wrapping everything up. Just go in a smaller circle. It's like a swirl. So it's been your boy, Mr. Wonka7. Thank you guys for watching, and suck my dick.